First up, a news coming in from Russia. Well, the Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev has submitted his resignation to President Vladimir Putin and the Russian Parliament, uh, which is also known as the Duma, has convened to vote on the nomination for a new Prime Minister, Mikhail Mihushtin. The Russian President has nominated Mikhail Mihushtin uh, for the candidacy of the new Prime Minister. Mihushtin uh, was the tax body chief of the country earlier. The Russian news agency is reporting that Putin thanked Medvedev for his service but noted that the Prime Minister's cabinet has failed to fulfill all its objectives uh, set for it. Now, media reports also are saying that Putin is planning to name Medvedev as deputy of the Presidential Security Council. The announcement came shortly after Putin's State of the Union address, where he has proposed to tweak the Russian constitution to increase the powers of the parliament and the cabinet. The Russian president has also suggested amending the constitution to allow lawmakers to name the prime minister and cabinet members. The right currently belongs to the president. Нельзя не считаться. Обсуждается конституционное положение о том, что одно и то же лицо не должно занимать должность президента Российской Федерации более двух сроков подряд. Не считаю, что этот вопрос принципиальным, но согласен с этим. Изменить этот порядок и доверить Государственной Думе не просто согласование, а утверждение кандидатуры председателя правительства Российской Федерации. А затем по его представлению, по представлению председателя правительства, всех вице-премьеров и федеральных министров. Well, many believe that such a move could herald Putin's intention of shifting into a new position to stay at the helm after his current term expires. Putin's current tenure expires in 2024. The 67-year-old president has remained at the helm of uh, affairs for more than 20 years, longer than any other Russian or Soviet leader since Stalin. Under the current law, Putin will have to step down after his term ends as a president in Russia cannot have more than two consecutive terms. And now with Medvedev's resignation, many are speculating that if Putin may stay in charge by shifting into the post of prime minister after increasing powers of the parliament and cabinet and trimming presidential authority. And Lucy Taylor is now joining us live from Moscow for the very latest on this. Lucy, no, now it's uh, quite clear that all this reshuffling of power and positions is happening to keep Putin longer in power. Yes, in the last five minutes, uh, the new prime minister has been voted in by parliament, so he's been confirmed in that post. Uh, 41 Mem 41 people abstained, all members of the Communist Party, um, but otherwise he was unopposed. Nobody voted against. So that's the breaking news on this story. But yeah, if you, as you say, this has caused a lot of discussion about Vladimir Putin's own plans for the leadership and his choice of prime minister, because it is still his choice, um, it t tells us something about that. Um, this man, um, Mikhail Masushtin, the new prime minister, was the head of the Federal Tax Service. He's somebody who's been in the tax service for almost all of his career. So very much a, a, a technocrat, a bureaucrat, not a career politician. Um, and that's interesting because it suggests he might be somebody who doesn't have his own personal political ambitions, isn't going to be wrestling with Vladimir Putin for power. Um, and that, in turn, suggests that possibly Vladimir Putin um, is hoping to keep some of that power for himself. Of course, he has another four years to run in his current presidential term. But after that, under the current constitution, he would have had to leave office. Well, he will still have to leave office. Um, but the speculation now is that with these constitutional changes that have been proposed, he might be able to shift into a different role um, with expanded powers in that role and still retain uh, a tight grip on Russian politics. Right, absolutely. And as you rightly pointed out there, the new person taking over from Medvedev seems to be less consequential than the last prime minister, that is Medvedev, who uh, was a long-time ally of President Putin as well. Um, how do we know that this relationship between Medvedev and Putin will stay intact? Um, and of course, uh, he will continue in some other role, uh, probably less important. 
Well, as far as we can tell, there is no rift here. It's all amicable. Um, Medvedev made the announcement of his resignation on state television, sitting next to Vladimir Putin. It's been all smiles since then. And as you say, he's had a new role created for him as deputy chair of the Security Council, which is in itself an important body, um, a significant role. It suggests he'll still be very much in the fold as he has been for almost 20 years now. Um, but whether it's as important a role as prime minister is a big question. And I don't think anybody's really got a handle here in Moscow on why this had to happen, why this had to happen now. The first we heard about these possible constitutional changes was just over 24 hours ago on Wednesday in Vladimir Putin's State of the Nation address, which at the end he started to talk about these proposed changes. He didn't make it sound like it was anything imminent. He said that he wanted people to have the chance to vote on bringing in these changes. But yet, a few hours later, we had this news that the whole government resigned, the Prime Minister resigned, there'll be a whole new cabinet appointed. And I think that's thrown everything up into the air. Quite why this had to happen, quite why Medvedev uh, couldn't continue in his current post for longer isn't absolutely clear yet. It probably will be clear in the, in the, at some point in the future. Right, absolutely. Lucy, thanks very much indeed for joining us uh, with the latest there on what's happening in Russian politics, that cabinet reshuffle and, of course, a new prime minister coming in as well.